we cook every night. Sarah Jessica Parker details her sweet family traditions in rare comments about her kids. The And Just Like That star appears on the July 25th episode of The Table for Two podcast, where she talks about her three children with hubby Matthew Broderick. The two are parents to 20-year-old son James Wilkie and twin daughters Tabitha Hodge and Marion Loretta Elwell, who are 13. Turns out a family that cooks together stays together, at least according to SJP. We cook every night. We cook every night. It's a source of a huge amount of pride for everybody, but it's also like mystifying because we just don't order in as a family. And on the rare occasion we have, you know, we we always hear like other families they do it, and then like one kid orders from this place and one kid. Yeah. It's so confusing. We really do cook five to six nights a week for sure. We try to we we have always have a Sunday dinner. We invite people. And the Hocus Pocus star also explains what it means to raise kids who have an understanding of making a living for themselves. And also you want your children to understand what it means to earn money, what it takes to earn money, and the value of it, and that they the expectations will be the same for them. Yep. Sarah Jessica also shares how her modest upbringing has impacted the way she parents. I think it's a great way of living mm -hmm. for children. I agree. Um, that their needs are met to be fed and safe and loved and, you know, the important things in life, you know, books and yeah. food and interesting experiences and they're warm in the winter and cool in summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? Like you're, the, the, but the they human should pine needs. for things. They yeah. should want things. Back in 2008, in an interview with Parade, the Sex and the City star said the way she was raised inspired her work ethic. Sharing, quote, I think that if I had been raised a child of privilege, I wouldn't be the working person I am today. I have a great appreciation for work. I think it's incumbent on my husband and me to really stress and to show James Wilkie by example what it means to owe your community something and that he is not entitled to the benefits of our hard work. And she even said that despite being a fashionista, son James's baby clothes were mostly hand-me-downs. She revealed he only wears hand-me-downs because I've got all these older nephews. That's the God's honest truth. Plus, my mother saved all my brother's clothes. I am not kidding. I don't think I've ever bought him any clothes.